and strange fungi explained. Before we dive right into this video, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers' comments. Joe T had this to say, Great video like usual, man. Keep up the work and I'm sure your channel will just keep growing. Thanks for commenting and your support, Joe. Now, back to our video. Number 11, the golden jelly fungus. This ordinary fungus is located in tropical and temperate areas such as Asia, South America, Europe, and Africa. Like with most fungi, the golden jelly fungus can be found living on dead branches. The fungus's body is known for being quite gelatinous and slimy during the rainy season when it appears, but tends to shrivel up into a thin film when it gets too dry. However, once the rain falls again, it's able to return to its original form. You might be surprised to know that this yellow blob is actually considered to be edible, and that vegetarians in China use it in a soup because of its texture and flavorless profile. Yet, some sources still classify it as inedible and non-poisonous. Scientists have taken an interest in the fungus as it produces carbohydrates that could be useful in various biological ways. Number 10, the turkey tail mushroom. More commonly known as the polyporous versicolor, this mushroom gets its name from the sheer fact that it resembles the feathers on a turkey's tail. You can see in the following photo that not only does the mushroom's layering and fanning shape help it look like a turkey's tail, but the color pattern as well. The mushroom's color usually depends on its age and where it's located, but the most common colors are browns and gray, with some even appearing as black. If you're lucky to see an older one, you'll be able to tell it's old by the green coloring that occurs thanks to the algae that grows on them. Turkey tail mushrooms are believed to hold medicinal properties that help fight off cancer, although this has yet to be proven. Number nine, the rounded earth star mushroom. The scientific name for this mushroom is Geastrum cicatum, and it can be found in Europe and North America, where it grows on the decaying flesh of rotting wood. Though its pretty form might look appetizing, in truth, it's classified as inedible because of the bitter taste that's associated with it. It's known for being a fairly common mushroom, and they usually reach their peak towards the end of summertime. The outer layer that makes the mushroom look like a star opens up due to calcium oxalate crystals that build up and causes the outer peridial layers to stretch. The way that you can recognize this earth star mushroom from all the rest is a depression that surrounds the central pore. Number eight, the wrinkled peach mushroom. The wrinkled peach mushroom is known for being the only species of mushroom in its genus. Other names used to describe this unique looking mushroom are the rosy vein cap, the netted rhododis, or its scientific name, rhododis. This uncommon mushroom species has been found in Asia, Eastern North America, Europe, and Northern Africa. Wrinkled peach mushrooms are usually found growing on logs or stumps of decaying hardwoods. These mushrooms are listed as being unknown or inedible when it comes to their status on being consumed, although some of it has been noted that it has a bitter taste to it, with one account referring to it as even having a sweet flavor. Number seven, the giant puffball mushroom. There are several different types of puffball mushrooms that are all categorized under the label Basidiomycota, and each species comes equipped with its own unique set of traits. However, the one thing that each of these species does have in common is that unlike other mushrooms, these ones aren't able to grow an open cap. Rather, the mushroom spores grow inside of it and it splits wide open to let out all of the spores. The reason that they're called puffballs is not only because of the way that they look, but also because that's what the spores resemble when they burst out. The largest ever recorded puffball mushroom is 50 pounds. Number six, the bitter oyster mushroom. This mushroom is found in the local regions of North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia, where it grows in clusters located mostly on oak, birch, and beech trees. Bitter oysters happen to be one of the many bioluminescent mushrooms that exist, and it's only the Eastern North American strain that is able to glow, unlike the Pacific strain. It's thanks to this species of mushroom that the term a foxfire was coined by the early settlers. Fun fact, this mushroom is classified as being bioremediation as it has the power to absorb the toxins from environmental pollutants and is able to break down lignin. Number five, Staminitis fusca. This is a species of slime mold that isn't actually a fungus. However, it was at one point that it was classified in the same kingdom. Sometimes they're still grouped together as a means of convenience. These eukaryotic organisms are able to live as single cells, but combine into multicellular reproductive structures. This type of slime mold can be found in small groups forming on dead wood. It's recognized by its slender stalks that hold up its sporangia that only grow to a height of around six to 20 millimeters tall. There's over 900 documented species of slime mold that exist all over the world. 
Number four, the blue milk mushroom. The more common name for this edible mushroom is the indigo milk cap, and it can be found in several different areas of the world, including East Asia, Central America, and Eastern North America, which is why they're most often found in Chinese, Mexican, and Guatemalan food dishes. When the mushroom is cut open or broken, it leaks an indigo milk, or as it's referred to, latex, and the mushroom begins to change into a green color once exposed to oxygen. This species of mushroom is definitely considered to be one of the most beautiful yet weird species in the world. Number three, the false morel mushroom, also known as the brain mushroom, and you can see why the false morel will definitely prove to be fatal if ingested raw and not properly prepared. A good number of people have died. False morels are actually considered as a famous delicacy in areas such as Eastern Europe, Scandinavia, and in the regions of the Great Lakes of North America. In certain places in the world, it's illegal to sell. In others, it must come with a warning label. The safety of its consumption has been recently brought into question as it's been noted that even if properly prepared, the toxins in the mushroom can still remain. And quite a number of people have developed acute toxicity, so there could very well be some long-term health effects related to this mushroom. Number two, the bleeding tooth fungus. Hydnellum pecky is an interesting looking inedible mushroom that is definitely not something you want to try and eat. What you see in the following photo is a young bleeding tooth fungus that is secreting a red liquid. It's not blood or anything, even though it does resemble it. It's really just a liquid that is filled with anticoagulant properties. That means it's capable of preventing blood clots. When the fungus ages, it turns brown and looks unrecognizable compared to its youth. They're most common in North America, but are also found in other parts of the world. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these fungi you thought was the weirdest, and don't forget to subscribe. Number one, the Amanita muscaria, more commonly referred to as the fly agaric. This mushroom is very famous for its psychoactive properties. Not only that, but this mushroom is also considered to be highly poisonous. That is, if it's eaten raw and not properly detoxified first. Careful though, there's no antidote, but there are several methods as far as treatment goes. Under several different laws and ordinances, the Amanita muscaria is illegal in the United Kingdom, Australia, and the Netherlands. This fungus also happens to be quite famous in pop culture, what with being featured in the Super Mario Brothers franchise and in the Alice in Wonderland book to name a few.